Hey kids, I'm Dr. Frank DeVinis and welcome to the very first episode of Kept the Kids. And today, we'll be learning the contact process. This is when we turn oxygen into sulfuric acid, the stuff that evil geniuses use against their enemies. But in fact, your parents use sulfuric acid every day. It's in drain cleaners to get rid of those nasty clogs in your sink and bath. We're going to start by taking a cup of sulfur. Whew, that is part of what the bay egg smell is. Ugh. Then, we take a cup of oxygen. This cup might look empty, but there is the same amount of oxygen in this cup as there is sulfur in this cup. If there wasn't the same amount in each cup, there'll be one of something left over, and we want to use it all up. We're going to mix these two together, but it needs a little heat to get it started first. I'm going to use these matches. Remember kids, don't try this at home. Now we've got something new, sulfur dioxide. This is very bad for you, but don't worry, it won't be like this for long. Next we take the sulfur dioxide and mix it with more oxygen. But this time we need two times as many sulfur dioxide as oxygen. Luckily I prepared some more of this earlier. If we left this to mix by itself, it would take ages. So we need to give it a little push. Like when your parents give you a little push when you're learning to ride a bike. So we're going to bring in helpful Mr. Vanadium Pentoxide to give it a boost when we're mixing. So I'm just going to pour this in here. There we go. Also for this to work, we need to put it in the oven for a little while at 400 degrees Celsius. Now we have made sulfur trioxide. Next, we have to be very careful as we gently drop a pre-made sulfuric acid into the mixture. Now, you're probably wondering, why do you already have sulfuric acid if that's what we're making? Well, you'll find that out later, kids. Again, we have to use the same amount of each ingredient because we want to use it all up. But I'll just use a bit of each because I'm not going to have a tub big enough. So I'm just going to pour this into here. Some of that. That's enough. Now I've poured some of this into here, I'm going to pour the sulfuric acid in very carefully. There we go. We just created oleum. And now we're on to our final step. What we have to do now is mix this oleum we've just made with water. And when we do that, we get a huge amount of sulfuric acid. Now you see why we've used sulfuric acid before, because now we've gotten twice as we had before. Isn't that great? And that, kids, is what you call the contact process. And if you're wondering, kids, the first step that we did was called the oxidation of sulfur. That is when we added the oxygen to the sulfur and burnt it. And step two, where we turn sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide, is called the oxidation of sulfur dioxide. And when we added the sulfuric acid to the sulfur trioxide we made and created oleum, that is called the absorption of sulfur trioxide into oleum. And step four, which is of course the last step, is when we added water into the oleum to create double the amount of sulfuric acid that we used before. That is called the dilution of oleum to sulfuric acid. And now what we can do is we can do the process all again and we just halve the amount of sulfuric acid we used. Recycling! It's great, kids! And that is how you create sulfuric acid by using the contact process. I hope to see you back here next time for another episode of Chem for Kids. And remember, keep chemical. See you guys.